Hey, Grace Baptist Church, it's Travis, and it is your weekly update today, and it's Wednesday. We are back from the Great White North. Me and the boys did a one-week trip up to the Boundary Waters and uh, spent some time with another group, great group of guys, all of the Lord, had devotions each night with the kids, and uh, we did a lot of manly things, including having a lower standard of hygiene, paddling canoes, and fishing, and cooking our own dinner when we caught it, so it was great. It'd be a be happy to tell you more about it. You probably will hear more about it coming to sermons near you. I want to extend our Christian love and sympathy to Shirley Taylor's family, Joe and Jessica in particular. Uh, tonight, no activities as we're going to be with the family at the service tonight at Teacher Funeral Home. Uh, keep lifting them up in prayer. Shirley was a wonderful lady. If you didn't get a chance to meet her, particularly those of you who may have come in the last year or two to the church, uh, man, it was. Uh, I hate that you missed that blessing of knowing her. She was treasure when I first came here and was just a blessing to be around. So continue to you know lift them up uh, this week if you can. And then in addition to this, we will also be uh, having just pickups for our meals this Wednesday. We're not going to be eating in the fellowship hall together, but we'll be doing that. And then the burial will be tomorrow. Uh, look forward to being with you on Sunday. Didn't get a chance to worship with you last week I, or the week before. I know Danny uh, preached. I heard that went well. And then we had two baptisms. God's really been working in our midst since January. We've seen really miraculous healings here, you know, a couple of miraculous healings. We've seen people being saved. God has been working and moving here at Grace Baptist Church, and I'm just so happy to be part of God working and moving here in our midst. It's a wonderful time to be here and to see God working and moving. I look forward to being with you all on Sunday. Hope you have a great day, and if you want to prepare yourself, we'll be moving forward in the next section there, the last part of uh, Luke 21, if you want to start reading that and preparing your heart for that message on Sunday morning as we look to God's truth together. Have a great day. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday.